Alright guys, hypothetical situation. A video game company is at E3. Let's go for the big one, E3. They, they spend thousands, hundreds of thousands, tens of thousands, I don't know, a lot of fucking money on this conference. In, 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 in getting all the demo set up and paying PR reps, getting the conference uh, like on stage presentation set up, you know all the big lights, the big screens, audience seating, the, uh, you know the, the venue itself, a lot of money goes into these things to do what? Get a lot of press and show gamers what they're in for in the near future. And you know, not everyone's going to agree with every decision that every game developer makes. That's perfectly fine and understandable, and that's what we need. But, here's the thing. What we don't need is a bunch of fucking uninformed idiots, you know, slandering a company because it's cool. Because it gets them views on YouTube and subs. Because everyone on Facebook will like their status and they feel cool for 20 minutes. That's what we don't need. A lot of people say the gaming industry is going downhill. I disagree to a certain extent because right now the gaming industry is full of opportunity to not only create games but create amazing games. We now, you know, with the Xbox One, PS4, Wii U, we have even stronger technology, stronger technology to create amazing experiences. What? But I mean, it. it to be able to do what we can do now with video games will make video games the defining medium of entertainment very soon. And I, I, I can't wait. But here's what's fucked up about it. Here's where I agree. It's the commercialization of the industry that's bringing it down. It's the, the fucking Pizza Hut apps on 360. You know, it's you know TV being integrated with your gaming... Uh, it's your ads in between, in between, you know, basically everything. It's not just gaming, it's everything. Ads everywhere, ads between YouTube videos, all this stuff. <sighs> Excuse me. That's what's wrong with the uh, industry. You know, and another thing that's wrong with the industry is the people like a lot of YouTubers I see who review games and give the most watered down, vague review, reviews of a game I've ever seen just to get views and subs because they have a quota to meet. They have to make all these YouTube videos. They have to make a certain amount of view, uh, videos a week so they can get paid. Fuck you guys. Fuck you guys. Alright. Make something of content. There's so many damn gaming channels on YouTube now. I will definitely not even, I, will, I don't even have a voice right now. This is just me, you know, ranting to a wall and maybe a hundred views, a hundred viewers. But I can't say that I'm the most creative guy, I'm the most informed gamer ever. But I know what I see and what I'm seeing is a lot of bullshit, especially on the top sub guys. There's no effort going into these videos at all. And they're the most subbed. You guys are the, you guys like those con that content the most? Just fucking gameplay commentaries like on Call of Duty and stuff. Listen, I made those videos. They're fun to make, but I t I just can't only make them. I have to I have to talk about something. I can't just be like, haha, trolling on Black Ops 2. I make a lot of Call of Duty videos. I use video like gameplay as like a. a a foundation for videos, and you know I make video entertainment analysis group, which is my like I, that's my flagship thing right now. I love making them; it's fun to me. But to sit here and watch all these other channels grow and thrive on what little kids subscribing or whatever, because you know you can do a quick scope and stuff. That's what's wrong with the gaming community industry. The the rise of the 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 cash ins on YouTube is another huge problem. Everyone, whenever a new game comes out, instead of fucking playing the game, everyone's in a rush to get the first. Let's play episode one of GTA Five. Subscribe to me, please. I want your money, please, 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 please. That's what's wrong with the gaming industry. Commercialization. It kind of bleeds into the let's play thing, doesn't it? That's what's wrong with it. And you guys are a bunch of babies to boot. <laughs> 
On top of all of this, you guys are a bunch of babies. If you don't get what you want in a game, you complain about it. As, your, as a consumer, it is your right to complain, but what you need to offer is constructive criticism. I don't know if I've mentioned this earlier in the video or not. Constructive criticism would make me feel a lot better about some of you guys being, you know, making livings off YouTube AdSense. I see, I see a lot of comments coming. Oh, you're just jealous, dude. You're just jealous that you don't get it. You, you can't make a living off YouTube. A part of me, honestly, is because I've been at this YouTube shit for a long time. You know, I like to think that I put a little bit more thought into some of my videos than some people do. So yeah, it'd be great if I could get a little bit of recognition or whatever. But this is mostly this rant sparked from me being fed up with the in, the the industry community. I keep mixing those words up because there's there's kind of a difference. Um, but the industry is not that bad. You guys are just complaining. What happened when the Xbox One came out? All you guys did was fucking complain. Instead of looking at what's positive about it. This, this is kind of like a societal issue. Everyone only wants to talk about the negatives. Instead of just saying, hey, this is cool, but this is how you can change it. No. Fuck the Xbox One. Like my status if you agree. Share my videos if you agree. Yeah, Xbox is the devil. But it's PlayStation 3. Oh my god. Oh my god, the PlayStation 3, guys. There's just nothing wrong with it at all. It's not like it's the X it's not like they're doing the same shit as the Xbox One. All they're doing is marketing towards the gamers. We're here for the gamers. Bullshit. It's the same thing. Xbox One and PS4 are very similar consoles. You guys just don't want to admit it. And you guys are completely excluding the Wii U. And honestly, that's probably for the best because Nintendo doesn't even consider itself a part of this race because it's trying to do something different, which is why I love them. But you guys are a bunch of babies, honestly. And I'm a, I'm a baby for even posting this video because I'm complaining about people who complain. I'm no better. But at least I care enough about gaming to say, hey, this is wrong. Can we at least care about games instead of just complaining about the most trivial shit and calling it and calling a game it like saying a game sucks because it doesn't get review scores when you know everyone's like oh reviews don't matter reviews don't matter but then what happens if a game gets low score like low review low review scores you guys ignore it you know it's true why'd you buy GTA did you expect a brand new experience and all that no you want to be a part of the hype train. 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. It's all fucking ringing in my ears. Because it isn't, it, GTA 5 is boring to me. I just think it was boring. Except for the multiplayer. Multiplayer is pretty cool. <sighs> but yeah, I, I don't know. I'm rambling now, so I'm going to end this rant. I just need to get this out there. You guys are a bunch of babies. Why don't you man up and play games for, play games for the games, dude. Go back to why you started gaming. Not, not to, you know... Instead of all this extra stuff on the side, just go have fun. Buy a game that you don't think you're ever going to play. Go buy a game that you that's unexpected for you to buy. If you're going to complain about first-person shooters being linear, stop fucking buying first-person shooters that are linear. Duh. Try something new. Try something different. Maybe then you'll have some, you'll have some fun. <laughs> this has been the Legend of Super slash Josh crazy rant. Now, this is one video that I would appreciate if you liked and shared. And if you like this video, subscribe. That'd be awesome. Because I've got a lot more in the tank. I'll see you guys next time.